Hello everyone! Today's video will be quite different from those that I usually publish on my channel, as it is going to be related not to the ordinary Skibidi toilet content, but to something much more meaningful and exciting. In this video, you're going to actually find out a lot of mysteries and secret reveals about no other but Boom, the creator of Skibidi series we all know and love. And guess what? All those answers were given by him himself. I'm not kidding you guys. This happens only once in a lifetime, and I personally cannot believe we got such a material into our hands. So in today's video, you're going to learn how did this series get created in the first place, and what was Boom's inspiration for it. Also, you will see what kinds of dreams and life goals Boom has in the future, and what's the most important part of this interview. What kind of crazy ending will about to witness at the very end of Skibidi Toilet Series? Now get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end because it will be surely one of the most memorable things you'll learn. Let's go! So guys, I think there's no actual need to remind it for you. How huge of a cultural phenomenon Skibidi Toilet Series became, as we all have witnessed its growth with our own eyes. Dare I say it was a whole ass cultural reset and not only for you, my Alphers generators, but for millennials like me as well. I know, I know I'm kind of old as a mountain already because I actually remember what Gary's mode is. And guess what? So does Boom, who was directly inspired by it and made it his creative playground for years before Skibidi series to come. Boom said it himself that he was inspired by the community of independent filmmakers that have their own style, and it influenced him to follow the same cool route. So, using this Valve's game assets, he experimented with creating lots of short and humorous animated videos. But as time went, these experiments evolved into completely chaotic universe of Skibidi toilets, which is a wild combination of meme culture, video game references, and Boom's own weird, creepy dreams and fantasies. In the interview about his work, Boom says, Skibidi is the ultimate form of my content that contains everything I have ever created in one package. And speaking of references, Boom cites Half-Life 2 and Michael Bay's Transformers movie series to be his biggest inspirations. There's also one really interesting thing that Boom has mentioned, and I really liked it a lot. It's no surprise to anyone that the main target audience of Skibidi Toilet series are the kids from the Alpha Gen. And it's kind of weird that such thing as Skibidi Toilets became so popular among them because it's filled with pretty old internet references that those kids aren't just familiar with. But as it turns out, who freaking cares? You all are boiling in one hilarious chaotic mess called modern internet, and it's full of the references nobody really recognizes, but everybody still uses them. The same thing happened to Boom's Skibidi series. Although it uses the models from the ancient game, which is usually loved by the literal dinosaurs called Millennials, and it's made with the really old animation tools, Skibidi toilets have one huge advantage. They're creative as heck, and there are even actual layers to it. Boom himself says that the series got so much love and adoration due to the fact that it seems to be really genuine for Alpha Kids, and it doesn't feel generic or corporate. And that's really interesting to me. You see, what Boom has actually meant here is that the media products that big studios or corporations do are usually really polarizing, cute, or too boring. People are too dense to realize that children actually love some real crazy spooky stuff, especially if it's also funny at the same time. And that's exactly what Skibidi toilets are. They are really uncanny, weird, but also hilarious. And the concept of human heads sticking out of freaking toilets is... Well, one of the kind, I must tell you. And to add even more to it, another key ingredient for Skibidi's success is how perfectly simple the series actually is. It doesn't contain any excessive info or screen time. Did you ever stumble upon such phrase as brevity is the soul of wit? Well, Boom is clearly talented. So of course this series became a huge hit. I mean, who else could have produced something like that? Disney. Oh, don't make me laugh even more. But what also influences such an insane popularity and literal followship of this series is its plot that became really strong and cohesive with time. We all know that before Episode 7, this series was still a bunch of weird memes glued together. But after that, the era of real blooming of its plot twists begun. We got to see actual character developments, strong confrontation plot, awesome fight scenes, 
literal love and betrayal arcs, and so much more. The series became no joke, and it was not just a goofy internet meme anymore, so it got to be really hard to ignore even by your granny, which is about to faint just by looking at your phone screen right now. Please don't hurt the poor lady and take a quick break now, and what you must do just in this second is to subscribe to my personal Discord channel, where I post a ton of exclusive information that I get, and also announce some really cool special events just for my subscribers only. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well, because my dream is to get 500,000 subscribers soon. Oh, and by the way, speaking of dreams and fantasies, let's get to Boom and look what he had said about the weirdest stuff that came out of his head. So, Boom is a really funny dude, and what you're about to hear from me will probably blow your brains, but don't worry about that. It will be fine. According to Boom, what actually inspired him more than Half-Life 2 or Gary's Mode weird genius creators is his own dreams, or specifically nightmares. So, once upon a night, Boom saw a dream where Hand got out of a toilet, and it made him kind of terrified. Then he turned this weird image into a real animation, and it helped him to cope with such sort of nightmares easier. Then, some close friends told Boom that it would be really healthy for him to fight those terrible nightmares in reality, or more specifically, in virtual reality, as it's one of the most creative ways to fight your own fears. Now guys, let me give you a really brief excurse into the history, which would prove that Boom is an actual creative genius. So, it's no wonder that lots of artists have searched for inspiration in dreams and hallucinations, which were usually caused by, well, let me say some really exotic food, drinks, and spices. For example, Salvador Dali was such a guy who was famously influenced by his really weird and obscure dreams. And if you ever took a look at one of his paintings, at least, then you would be totally sure that this guy had something spicy in his diet. But sometimes weird dreams may occur to us even in the clearest state of mind, and I believe that was actually what happened to Boom. But there's one particular dream that Boom had described, and it's really worthy of talking about. And I also need to mention that Boom calls this exact dream prophetic, and an actual predecessor of the whole series, and that it was the most important inspiration for him of all. This dream not only inspired the concept of Skibidi Toilets, but also motivated him to work on the series in the first place, because this dream foresaw its future success. But let's not rush it, and rather take it step by step, actually. So, close your eyes and imagine yourselves in Boom's shoes right now. You're turning out to be in the place somewhere outside in the city, and the atmosphere is really surreal and spooky all around the corner. Then, you suddenly notice how this city is being literally infested by toilets. But those are not your usual bathroom buddies, as there are people riding in these toilets, and also toilets on TV. And around them, there are also ordinary people with normal heads, but toilet bodies. That's actually quite an insane picture to see, don't you think so? Although it is still kind of possible that some of you guys may see this dream on your every Sunday. If I hit right the spot, then don't forget to share your wonderful experience with me in the comments below because, well, I need to know my target audience. And then something even crazier happens. And guys, I must warn you beforehand that it's not really all that serious and that Boom probably said it just for fun. You have been warned. So what Boom saw next is actual Jesus Christ who descended to him right down below and whispered at his ear, the world is blessed with Skibidi Toilet. And no, I'm not joking, guys. Boom really said those exact words. And he also added how at first it seemed to him that this dream didn't have much sense, but it kind of made him feel better after all. And then Boom added, it was the first dream involving toilets where I wasn't terrified. It made me have a strange feeling of toilets being some kind of divine and unexplored entity. Thus, Skibidi Toilet was born. And oh my God, guys, that's... Well, if you really want to know my personal opinion on that matter, then I would say that Boom is definitely king of comedy after all. I hope all of you guys caught that it was just one thick piece of satire. But did this fever dream actually take place in reality or not? Doesn't really matter anymore. Because the words that Boom allegedly heard did in fact come true, and Skibidi toilets got spread all over the internet in the matter of mere days. And such an instant success made Boom a happier person, as he said. And now, it's time to finish this video with something really exciting. By the end of the interview, Boom has said very mysterious words about the series ending. First of all, he stated that although he's not intended to reveal the main secret of Skibidi Toilet's plot and metaphors now, 
He still hinted that a certain popular fan theory came really close to his true intentions. And oh my god, guys, I'm so excited to hear that. Have you watched my video about my predictions about the series? That came true in the end. One of such predictions was the idea that the black speaker man we saw in episode 24 will become an elite agent. And this is exactly what happened in episode 63. So what if Boom is actually talking about one of my theories about the series ending? That would be simply awesome. And Boom also said that the end of the Skibidi Toilet series is already written and that the ending and the path leading to it are just insane. And guys, I have so much motivation to dedicate a separate video to my assumptions of what this series finale might actually be. So if you want to see that, then give a like to this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel not to miss it. And that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and it was really fun for me to make it. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!